So I'm always thinking about that for the client. Because of the space that we designed, are people going to want to go to that space and then turn into sales for the client? day it's been a long week even though it's actually been a four-day week it's still been a very very long week it's almost nine o'clock and I'm leaving the office everyone is gone I am the last to go um, hard work hard work pays off I think sometimes people see the brand and the website and the photography and the YouTube channel and the Instagram and all these amazing projects, great staff. And it really takes a lot of work to have all of this. The flowers are blooming and uh, spring has definitely sprung, as you can tell by my pink pants that I'm wearing today. <laughs> Thanks you guys to everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel, that is awesome. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you do that because you want to get notifications when a new video goes live, especially because I'm posting. of you guys have been saying I've been getting messages that when you grow up you want to be just like me that you love watching my content um, that I'm a role model for you and I thank you for those messages and hope that I am a role model for you because I think that there are not enough examples of people who work hard, who have a really good work ethic, who are honest and transparent and genuine and successful. And I think having a role model that is all of those things is actually really great, really great. Um, especially now on social media, Everybody wants it quick. Everybody wants it easy. Nobody wants to work for it without realizing how much work has gone into the last 10 years. And how much sacrifice and how much risk and how many late nights and long hours and not giving up it took to build this. And we're just reviewing uh, Common Ground, the gym that we're working on in Olympic Village. The whole 
concept behind this gym is that it's very inclusive. Gender neutral, inclusive, everybody is welcome, uh, which is great. I feel like there aren't enough spaces like that. So we're really excited about this. But I'm always thinking about how people are going to respond to our designs. How are they gonna to respond to our projects? Are they gonna love it? Are they going to talk about it? Are they going to take photos of our spaces? Um, how are people gonna respond? And are we supporting our clients in the best way possible? Meaning, is the interior design going to drive sales? That's my most, that's I'm always thinking about that for the client. Because of the space that we designed, are people going to want to go to that space? and then turn into sales for the client. My number one goal is that we are one of the best returns on a client's investment. Yeah. Should we? Do it. Yeah? 100%. And then the orange starts inside. Yeah, I love it. I want to do this logo on mirror. See this with the weight on top of it. That's really fresh. And then I feels it feels modern, right? Yeah. Like it feels new. Yeah. Because I feel like this is a little bit more unexpected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm always like hyper aware of what we're designing, what we're putting together. Is it too feminine? Is it too masculine? Is it too light? Too dark? Did we represent the brand really well? Are we communicating the brand really well? Yeah, that's always going through my mind in these meetings. You're not into throwing a blue in? I think so. No? I feel like it's like... Does it start to get a little primary? Yeah, and I feel like we want to remove gender entirely from... From this? From this space. It looks good with the black. Like they're, they're so ugly that they look good. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. That's my favorite kind of design. <laughs> <laughs> now that that's done, I'm headed back to my place. I'm going to meet Amanda from Provoke Studios. We are doing a photo shoot in my home and I'm filming a bonafide episode for you guys. Do you like my bathroom? I love your bathroom. Your bathroom's really fun. It makes me feel like I'm in a tropical mm -hmm. oasis. I love that bathroom. Do you, do you want to check shots as we sort of go along? I'd love to see them, just to see. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It feels, it feels like old times. Old times. <laughs> love it. <laughs> love it. I'm going to try to film an episode of Bonafide while you're shooting. Sure. But I'm gonna try to stay out of your way, so I'm gonna work around you. Okay. The only thing is. You'll leave lights on. Yeah. It'll be too dark for. For like, video? Yeah. For video. Yeah. Damn it. I know. Unless you're how good or are you super grainy on your high yeah. XO? Yeah. Yeah, I don't wanna interfere with what you're doing. It's amazing that it can be so dark, but it can still look good in a photo. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well. God bless the tripod. God bless the tripod. Where would we be? No, no, no. God bless Amanda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where would we be? Honestly. Like again, same thing. This still feels a bit, a bit cluttered, right? Cool to me. So either is it is it the fruit? I think the fruit is. It's, so I'll show you. Tell us just what's okay. there, and I'll, these, these are the options. Is to fruit or not to fruit? Is fruit to not to fruit? I say not to fruit. Okay. This guy. Forward towards me. Yeah. Yeah. I like the side profile and I think I like it clean actually. No purse. Okay. Final answer. I liked the coffee cup before you touched it. Oh yeah? Uh, don't move a muscle. <laughs> don't move a muscle. Cool. Yeah? Yeah. Sweet. Meanwhile, over here in the other land. <laughs> okay. In the land over here, I was setting up the shot which I think I had.
looks gonna be worth la, 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 la. Ooh, Just for this shot? Yeah, that's fine. Oh god. Okay, sorry. <laughs> You're like, don't just stand there. <laughs> the furniture and the lighting. Audio. Just in between meetings, I wrapped up a really great concept meeting with my team, with Karina and Catalina. We are working through design for a new project that we're doing in Kitsilano here in Vancouver. It's gonna be a gorgeous, gorgeous, stunning home, clean, white, bright, and uh, with Moroccan and Indian influences and undertones. So this is gonna be a really, really special home. They're great images though overall. You guys did a really good pull. Yeah, it was fun. Is this the direction we want to go in? Or is this the direction we want to go in? They, they just kept saying light and bright. So for me, I was thinking more of like a softer neutral palette. And then... Like clean palette. Them, just mm -hmm. like, just clean. And I feel like if we really played on texture White, and creams, pattern, and woods. Yeah. Like I think they would be super happy with that. Let's oh. take this whole board out. Okay. Even these two combined are really cool. Like they're all really yeah. nice. I even li like I like her a lot. I do too. I feel like this is a little too, it can be too obvious. Much. Yeah. The top ones are really nice. That's a really nice image. That's a good image. We think of this. I know we keep kind of coming back. I think no. If we're going in the softer, yeah. like neutral, warmer palette. So nothing. Yeah. Okay. I think really showing them a wide palette. Mm -hmm and then editing it down yeah. with them. Yeah. It's so fun to have clients that are coming to us for such interesting and out of the box and different projects. It really makes my job fun and it really keeps me doing what I'm doing. I'm just stepping out of the car. I'm gonna jump into a couple more meetings this afternoon and then uh, one more day and we wrap up a short week. vlog this meeting. Is that okay? Yeah. Is that okay? That's fine. That's fine? Okay, cool. Have we officially introduced you to the YouTube channel? Can we do that? What does that mean? <laughs> Dylan, YouTube, Hi. YouTube, meet Dylan and Cheryl. Lady Mama. <laughs> <laughs> I call her mom in the office. Yeah. Yeah. The owners behind Common Grounds. We're going to break down everything that we've been talking about this week. Yeah, exciting. We originally, we were thinking of doing this logo on white with maybe black lettering or something in the, and then glowy. So you'd have like your walnut, the white. But this doesn't seem as fresh to me. I like the mirror better. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. We could even do the, the oh, logo so in three-dimensional mm -hmm. white. Yeah. That would be cool. Ooh, I like that. What idea. do you mean three-dimensional? Like a letter, like a raised letter. letter. letter on top of here. Oh, That'd be like really cool. And like a white. Into it. Cool. cool. So cool. <clears throat> so fun. Love it. Karen's excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I do want to look at the hallway. You've got your storage and then you've got the little opening With into the, the hallway. Yeah. 
Okay. It's an archway. Do you like it? Yeah. That's what you're asking what it was. Okay. This is the reveal. <laughs> <laughs> the reveal. Yeah, Trading places. It's fun, until Saturday. <laughs> One thing we were thinking is actually painting out the ceiling in the hallway orange. And it's also it's called favorite. outgoing orange. Yeah. I picked it for you. Is that what it's called, yes, outgoing orange? Yes. I didn't even know that. <laughs> That's hilarious. What's his favorite color? Yeah, it's a beautiful color. I, <clears throat> um, well, we knew it was his favorite color. <laughs> but where this idea came from is Originally, we were thinking this was just going to be a nice, clean, white hallway, and maybe what we would do is a little cove light, just an LED strip in orange, glowing. But then the more we thought about it, we realized, well, the ceiling's open, so you can't really do a cove light. So what if we just painted just the ceiling out in orange? Feels like you're in a, a different space. Do you like that idea? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I love it too. I think I will just end this vlog by saying you are worth it, you are smart enough, you have all the skills that you need, you are intuitive, you don't need permission, don't ever forget it, and you can make it happen. It's a long weekend. That's all I got. I am teaching you and I am teaching you how I make my amazing pasta all at the same time. We're simmering in some olive oil and garlic right now. We've got our tomatoes, some chorizo.